So today, I'm going to be proving to you guys that you only need two heroes in challenges. Those two heroes are the Champion and the Scarecrow. So we're going to be using a deck that only features Champion and Scarecrow, and the other two heroes can probably not use their abilities. So with that being said, Champion Scarecrow, the Kong cannot use this ability in this in this deck, and the Seder might be able to use this ability if the my opponent enchants us. So we're going to be using this deck just to prove to you guys that the Champion and the Scarecrow is all you need in challenges. My name is Tim Mike, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And let's hope what I'm saying is correct. The Champion and the Scarecrow is the only powerhouse that you need in order to make your deck work. Well, let's see if we can um, actually be able to go very far. Look at this. He actually enchanted my Seder. So now the Seder got, <laughs> got his ability up. I did not expect this to happen. Although it is a clan quest. So I should have expected to face, you know, heal decks and enchantment decks. So, hey, he did buff up my Seder. So the Seder is being used in this deck. I just actually did not expect it to be used, you know? So, with that being said, we could... You know, we could try to take out a zombie, so let's just do that. Just do a little bit of damage to the sorceress as well, taking out the zombie so that uh, we, he can remove uh, his poison. Kong does go next. Wow, the champion goes last. That's not a good... That's not a good... Uh, not a good sign. But we can probably still win this. We can probably still win this. We just need to make... Actually, just make contact with the Scarecrow. That should do a lot of damage right there. Yeah, look at that. Shaman and the Sorceress took damage from it. And now the Champion goes next. Now we can make things work. Ah, uh, the Scarecrow died before that happened, sadly. So, we're going to have to try to take out his... Well, take out his Sorceress. We should be able to hit the, either the Banshee or the Shaman right there. And then the ability is going to go off. And look at that damage onto the Banshee right there. And the Shaman took a little bit of damage as well. The Champion thankfully cannot get enchanted with the Sorcerer's ability. But he can still get enchanted with the Shaman's ability. And he's not... Okay, he's going for it. He's going after the Shaman instead. And uh, at this rate, you might as well take out the Banshee. Because since the Banshee does the most damage right there. The Champion almost dealing damage to the Shaman right there. That would have been hilarious. The Seder, 115 damage with 314 health. We should be okay. We should definitely be okay in winning this one. He is going to go after the Kong for some reason. The Kong cannot use his ability by any means necessary. He did hit the champion as well. Nicely done with that. We're just going to push the champion right there. Double hitting the Shaman. That I did not expect that to happen. And we should actually win this first match. Shum with only 93 health. All we gotta do is try to... Oh wow, we cannot even push the... We're gonna have to try to double hit in order to win this one right now. I think we can do it by doing it like this. Oh no, we failed unless the ability makes us hit the Shaman. No. Okay, that was pretty bad, but that's okay. He only has one more chance in order to win this one. And there's just no way he's going to win this one. He would need a miracle play here in order to take out all of my troops in one turn. And sadly, he couldn't do it. Good for us because that is going to be our first win. Hey, it, is, it was an enchantment deck, of course. But, hey, we did win with a pretty random deck. Like I said, you only need Champion and Scarecrow to win. But let's see if we can actually face a real deck. You know, a strong deck, I should say. And see if we can actually win with just that. And he also has Champion Scarecrow. All right, let's see how well can we do here, you know. Um, we don't want that Assassin there. We really don't want the Assassin there since the Jossum does go next. Let's see if we can um, just push the Assassin behind the Champion. Uh, yes, we were. Wow, that was actually a pretty good play. But now his Scarecrow is going to do a lot of damage to us. If he pushes my... No, he's going to get the attack buff. Okay, nice, interesting. Let's see if we can make these... Well, just push the Scarecrow towards the champion. That is definitely going to be a good play. Yeah, let's go. Look at that damage right there into his champion and his Scarecrow. The Assassin took also massive damage right here. He is going to enchant the Seder? If he enchants the Seder, I'm going to be very surprised. Not going to lie. Oh, no, he took out my, my Scarecrow, sadly. Oh, lots of damage to his Seder. Or to my Seder, though. Let's... 
Uh, let's get the defensive buff and let's see if we can take out his assassin. Yes, we were actually able to take out the assassin. His, my ability is going to go off. His scarecrow is still alive. I'm actually a little bit surprised about that. He has 17 health. I should have probably uh, checked the math there, but that's still fine. Uh, I would like to take out his champion, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. So with that being said, let's just make sure that his scarecrow is dead. Let's just make sure that he dies. And we also did a little bit of damage to his Jossum, so not a bad play. We just got to worry about the Jossum and his champion. Champion goes next, so I'm a little bit worried about this. He was going after the Seder and the Kong, which I am very surprised why he did that. Uh, let's see if we can uh, deal damage to his Jossum and his champion right here. We should be able to hit his champion. There you go, we got it, plus the ability, that's going to be 101 damage, if I'm doing the math correctly, to the Jossum. Alright, so the Jossum has 201 health. He's definitely have to take out my champion. He, instead, he is going after the Kong and the champion. Okay, not bad, that was a pretty good play. Ooh, nice ability play right there. We're gonna have to do this. Hit this, the Jossum plus the Kong right there. The champion can survive one hit from the... From the oh no, no way, no way he managed to win there. Uh, no way he managed to make that play. We could have won that, man. We could have won that, but his play, his play right there just obviously won him the match. That, but that's absurd. Uh, let's see if we can push the scarecrow towards his side, you know, his corner, plus hit some somebody, you know. There you go. Not bad. Hitting his Scarecrow plus the Jossum. Not bad at all. And now with my Scarecrow going next, Sally, that is not what you want. But we have no other choice. He is going to hit my Scarecrow and the Kong, it seems like. Is he? Is the Scarecrow... Wow, the Scarecrow was near enough to get hit right there. Nice. Let's actually just go after his Scarecrow. We do want the Scarecrow dead. There you go. Lots of damage. Almost hitting the corner right there. He's definitely going to push the Scarecrow towards my champion. That is going to hurt. No, he's going after my Seder? What is he doing? I, I'm not sure what exactly is he doing. Double hitting this. That's strange. I wouldn't have done that, honestly. Let's see if we can hit his Scarecrow and then hit my Scarecrow. There you go, plus the ability is going to go off, his Jossum is dead as well. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. We just took out both of his units. It, there is, There are puppets on the board, so we do have to watch out for that. Um, he is going to push a puppet towards my Seder. Nicely done. Um, definitely hit that Scarecrow multiple times. Yeah, look at that. His Puppet Master is dead. All right, so we only have—he only has to worry about. Well, we only have to worry about his assassin. His assassin cannot use his ability, so this is great. We are sitting pretty good right here. Uh, with that being said, we could always either activate the trap, which I actually think is going to be a little bit difficult. So we're just going to hit the scarecrow. Oh, I went towards his puppets. Okay, I did not think about that. I do apologize about that. I definitely did not think about that. All right, I should have went after the corner. I did not think about that. That was a big oops on my part, and I hope that does not cost me the match since he does have puppets on the board. He is going to hit my Scarecrow. All right, that's fine. If you're only going to do that, that's fine. Yep, he is only going to hit my Scarecrow. That was not the play, I would assume. Uh, let's just double hit the assassin. We should be able to double hit the assassin right here. Yep, there you go. And the champion did not get a hit there? What? That should have been a hit. That should have definitely been a hit right there. Alright, that's fine. We should be able to win this match now. Especially if we... Oh, perfect. All we gotta do is just hit the assassin towards the scarecrow. And that's going to be game. And if that's not enough... The ability is still going to go off to do a little bit of extra damage right there. And there you go with that, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be a second win. I'm so mad about the last match. We should have won that one. But he did make an incredible play with it with the Jaws of making him win that match. But that's fine. We can still go far. We're actually proving 
we're actually proving that you only need the champion and the scarecrow. Everybody else is unnecessary. My champion going next, that's actually a pretty good start. And we can also play around with my scarecrow. And he does have an enchantment deck as well. So let's see what he's going to do. He did enchant, well, three of my units there. Plus the satyr got the buff there. So we don't want the champion to get enchanted there. So let's see if we can just take out the champion right now. And wow, look at that. We just took out the sorceress in one turn. He can still enchant my champion with the shaman, of course. Um, but wow, he did enchant everybody else. I would, I, I think I would prefer to get the attack nerf instead of receiving more damage. So, yep, he, he literally just did that. So that's fine. Let's see. We could try to go after his banshee. It wouldn't be too much damage, sadly. Uh, yeah, let's go after the Banshee since the Shaman pretty much did his job already. So let's... This only this is going to be one hit. No, that was actually two hits. Okay, I'm actually a little bit surprised about that. We actually got two hits onto the Banshee right there. And what is he going to do? Why are you going after the Kong? That's... Okay, Kong and the Ban uh, Seder. Okay. I'm just actually a little bit surprised that he went after the Kong. Let's try to hit the... Let's try to make the Paladin hit the Seder. I would love to, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. Oh, we were. We were, plus the Scarecrow play. Paladin is still alive with how much health? 33? Yeah, we should definitely win here. He is going to heal up the Banshee. That is a very nice play. Very nice play. Um... Yeah, let's take out his Paladin. And let's see if we can make the Scarecrow hit the Shaman. Oh, we took out the Shaman, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. And he surrendered. Yeah, I would I would be upset too. That was crazy. That was definitely crazy. That was absurd. Three wins with one loss. Come on, we can definitely go... We can go far. I'm not going to lie. We can go far. We're facing another enchantment deck. Okay. I'm actually a little bit surprised that we keep facing enchantment decks. Even though it is a clan quest weekend. Let's hit, double hit the Scarecrow right there. Ooh. The Scarecrow also touched the, sh the champion to get another crow towards the Shaman. Not bad. He is going to enchant the champion and the Scarecrow. He does not want to enchant the Seder, of course. We can, however, enchant the Seder plus hit the Shaman right here. 155 damage the Seder is doing. That is a lot of damage. A lot. He's going to have to enchant the Seder. He's going to give the attack buff to the Banshee. Very interesting. I wouldn't do that, but whatever you want to do, my dude. Um, we Sadly, we don't have a good play here. We don't. Let's just hit the Enchanters towards the Kong, hopefully. Yeah. And we took out the Enchanters. All right. It was just enough to take out the Enchantress. He cannot enchant her, uh, himself with the attack buff unless the, ma uh, the arena object gives up to him, you know? He did deal a lot of damage to my Seder there. That's not good. Let's give the the champion a speed buff so that way we can get rid of the attack nerf. Oh, I thought we were going to be able to double hit the, the, the champion. I completely failed. But look at that double hit that we did onto the sorceress. That was 230 damage plus, of course, the ability damage from the champion. That was very That was very good. He's going after my Seder. Interesting. Going after my Seder. Of course, he takes out my Seder. That, that's, you know, that, that was obvious that that was going to happen. Let's see if we can hit the Kong, or sorry, the Banshee towards the champion. The champion goes after the Shaman. Yeah, look at that. And the Scarecrow got the hit onto the Shaman, killing the Shaman right there. So we just got to worry about two units right here. Guys, I'm actually a little bit surprised that this is working out super well. I actually believe that we're, we're actually going to struggle here. We're actually doing this very, very well. Uh, let's see if we can take out his Banshee right here. It it's probably won't be enough damage, but we're going to try it anyway. And while wow, we were actually able to multi-hit the Banshee for death, we just got to worry about the Sorceress. The Sorceress only has 66 health. The Champion can take, can take her out in one hit. Oh, never mind. She did receive a defensive buff, so we just hit the Scarecrow right here. That was definitely an overkill right there, and we managed to win another match. Wow. I'm so mad about the second match. That should have been a win for me, but 
Hey, four wins with one loss. That's not bad at all, especially using a Kong that cannot use his ability. And of course, the Seder cannot use his ability all the time. So we're doing fantastic. His champion goes first, but my champion goes first as well. So he is going to make a play with the Assassin. This might... Okay, it was only towards my Kong. I'm not... Okay. He did deal a lot of damage to my Scarecrow, which is obviously not good. Let's see if we can take out his Assassin right now. By double hitting the Assassin here, then the Scarecrow just hopefully taking him out. And look at that. We did take out this. We did take out his Assassin right there. Plus, of course, damaging the rest of his units. His champion took did take a lot of damage right there. Alright, so off to a pretty good start. He failed to take out any of my units, and we were actually able to take out his Assassin. Um, sadly, we cannot do too much here. The best that we can do is just push his my, my champion towards his champion. Yep, a little bit of damage right there. His champion has so much health. 71. One more hit with the champion and he'll, he'll die. And we should go after his champion, though. We should. But my champion might die. I think my champion died. I think... Oh, no. Wow. He actually took out the Scarecrow, but my champion is still alive. Uh, but this is still looking pretty bleak. Not gonna lie. Let's do this. Let's see if we can also hit the Jossum. Hey, we actually got hit on all three units. But this is looking pretty bleak. My champion only has 37. Yeah. All he has to do is leave leave the champion alone. He'll, he'll get the kill on the champion. Oh, he even... Well, he actually made sure to take out the champion. Man, this is going to be a loss. Man, we took out this assassin perfectly, but he still managed to win with his deck. Let's see if we can double hit and then hit the Jossum. Yeah, we were. Not bad right there, not bad. Um, yeah, that this that that is going to be a loss. Oh well. Let's see if we can get one or two more wins with this deck. It would be absurd. Oh, never mind. He also he got the I thought I thought he I thought um, I cannot speak. Um, I thought we were only going to be able to get one, um, one extra turn. That did not happen. That's fine. All right. Let's see if we can get one or two more wins against this heal deck. Okay. Against a heal deck. Um, thankfully his vampire is behind the, uh, the frog mystic. We could go after his frog mystic. Not going to lie. We could deal lots of damage to it. Um, yeah, we could. Let's do this. His Frog Mystic is dead. All right, perfect start. We remove one of his healers. All right, so that's obviously good for me. Um, yeah, that was not his greatest play right there, but sadly we cannot do too much here other than hitting the corner just to hit the... Nobody. I did not expect the Seder to hit the, the Scarecrow like that. That was a big mistake on my part. And now this is where we can make some incredible plays. He's not... Mm, I don't know if I should go after the Scarecrow. Yeah, let's just go after the Scarecrow. Okay. I did not expect the first crow to miss. But the second, second crow did hit the... Either the... I forgot who it was. Either the, the vampire or the, the paladin. But that's fine. We should be able to take out the priest here. Ugh, the priest is still alive, but we did deal a lot of damage to the priest and the paladin. He has to heal up the priest. He did heal up the priest, but thankfully... Oh, never mind. He got the hit. Yeah, let's try to deal as much damage as we can to his vampire here. That should be a lot of damage. We took out the vampire. Let's go. Now we just gotta worry about the priest and the paladin. They're only support cards, not attack, you know, attackers. So I would heal up the priest if I were him, but he actually decided not to do that. Very interesting. Let's just deal damage like this. We did not take out his priest. He's definitely going to heal up the priest. But with my champion going next, we should be able to take out the priest. Oh, we, he did get a double heal there. Golly. Let's see if we can get a double, a double heal on the paladin right here. And then the ability is going to go off. The priest is dead. Perfect. Perfection. Now we just got worry about the Paladin. The Paladin cannot heal up. Only 91 health. He is going to take out the the Scarecrow, and that's fine. All we gotta do is with the Seder going next, we should be able to double hit for death, right? Yeah, that is going to be a double hit. 
We should definitely get it pretty easily by doing it like this. And bada bing. <gasps> we failed. Oh no, we got it. Bada boom. <laughs> we got it. All right. There is another win right there. Let's go. All right. Let's continue on. One more win will be halfway there. All right. Honestly, this is not a bad run. This is not a bad run at all. Ooh. Uh, this is going to be tough. But we can start off by hitting the Scarecrow twice. Tor and it should go towards his Jossum. Oh no, we actually moved the Jossum out of the way and the Scarecrow got hit. You know what? Even better. He's definitely going to either hit the Sentinel or the Scarecrow. He is going to hit the Sentinel. The Scarecrow also got hit. Oh my goodness, that sucks. Lots of damage right there, but let's just, let's see if we can push the Sentinel towards the Scarecrow. Scarecrow hitting the, no, we failed to hit the Scarecrow. But regardless, it was still a lot of damage there to his um, Scarecrow and Champion. I think the Jossum will be in range to deal damage to the Champion and the Seder. So the Champion might die here. Yep, the Champion died because of the Scarecrow. That's not good. Wow. All right. This might be a loss, ladies and gentlemen. Ugh, how is the Scarecrow still alive? Yep, we're going to lose. My, if my Scarecrow dies, that's it. We're not going to be able to win that one. And all he has to do is just hit the Scarecrow towards his Scarecrow. Yeah, we're not going to win this one. He took out the units that I definitely needed to, to keep alive. And now we cannot do anything. None of these units can use their abilities. So this is, in fact, going to be a loss, ladies and gentlemen. Five wins, though, with... A deck that only relies on the champion and the scarecrow it was pretty good not gonna lie it was pretty good yeah it's he should hit the kong right here plus the say uh plus the sentinel no he's going after the going after the sentinel right there this okay the sentinel will still use this ability taking out the wow taking out the satyr yeah there's no way we're gonna win this one guys hey we still we still did pretty good we still get did pretty good I usually don't go, uh, I usually don't win five wins, especially with everybody using these meta decks. I usually don't go for five wins and we actually managed to get it with using this random deck. Hey, I'm very happy with the run though. It was pretty good overall, five wins. I really wanted to get one more, but it's pretty tough, not gonna lie. But hey, very happy with the run. Let's claim this reward right here. Come on, can we get something good? I really wanted some freaking... Um, some freaking frost fucks, but sadly we did not get some. But it is all good, and that is it. Uh, going to be it for today's video. And if, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more Smashing Four videos. We actually did pretty good, not gonna lie, with using this deck. Now we were playing in the clan quest, so they were using enchantment decks, giving the satyr the buff. But other than that, we did play pretty well with only using the champion and the scarecrow. Let me know if you guys use this deck, how far do you guys go. And if you guys have any other recommendations that you want to see, just throw them down in the comments below and I'll certainly do it for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and thanks again for your continued support. I will see you in the next one. Take care.